Hi everybody, Pastor Pete here, and we're outside. We're on the east side of the church, and it's been two weeks since we've had a, a building addition renovation update. Thought we'd give you another walkthrough today. We're gonna have a little better scenery than the Porta Giant behind me. And as we walk through the facility for the next four or five minutes, uh, maybe we'll just do a little Where's Waldo kind of contest. If you can figure out where you are in the church, uh, then uh, that'd be a, a pretty cool thing. So why don't you come along with me and we'll just take a walk, shall we? Okay, we're going to start just on the east side here. You see that uh, there's going to be uh, an emergency door outside of the old library area. One of the windows gets taken out and that's going to be a... Uh, uh, it's going to be a new door and then you have the windows and today a little bit of work is being done on the, on the new entrance door here door is taken out we'll just kind of go right on up one of the neat things done this week is we got some painting done so you see a little different color as we enter into the Facility bathrooms uh, haven't changed much, but that'll happen next week. Uh, you see also that the wall got taken down. So it looks a little different from uh, inside the, the fellowship room here. You can see, starting to see a, a sense of a little different uh, doorways to the fireside room and kitchenette. Let's walk that way, shall we? You can see that we got some painting. The drywall is getting about done. This will be the new kitchen area. Some glass doors will go in here. What do we got here? Hey, somebody got a little creative. I guess my name will be in there for all the prosperity. Still doing a little painting. One of the cool things is we got a little fireside fireplace in the fireside room and uh, some cabinets are in and uh, a little nice little mantle and the rest has to be completed yet. Do a little spin around, that's gonna be a storage room right there. That'll be a little entrance uh, to the small kitchenette we'll have. So we'll make our way down to the other entrance. This is the uh, south entrance and uh, not much has changed here. They did a little painting, got some storage rooms and uh, the fire suppression's in. This will become a suspended ceiling uh, once we're completed. I'm going to spin around slowly here. This week we had some asbestos removal. The ceiling in the vestibule was taken out. This is going to be, you see a lot of hog, hog uh, uh, wash of uh, a lot of uh, wiring and that's all going to be new suspended ceiling and new speakers and new lighting that's going to happen in the back of church in the underneath the balcony here. That's where we are right now. I'll try not to make you too dizzy as we walk around. Again, we're in the foyer of church heading toward the north way. We're going to go through the new door that of the uh, <coughs> temporary wall that's been built up. And you see where you can see right into the old nursery. You can see where uh, they took out a wall and just the old studs are in place. See if I can get a little lights here. There's going to be no lights here. And you see where the ceiling has all been ripped out in the old children's worship uh, room. And there's the old prayer room happening right there. I can walk right into the old nursery. And uh, sure enough, a lot of insulation and bare trusses are being shown here as well. There's a new wall. So I'm standing in the old nursery right now if you're looking for Waldo. This wall is out. Uh, this is, you're staring into the old workroom right outside the offices. And we're gonna come here just for a minute. I wanna show you the new lights that are going out. The fluorescent lights that are just, just a panel, an LED panel that's gonna be going up in the foyer as well. So I can't get through that way. I can't even get into Mary's office. I'm gonna go back this way. Got Grand Rapids Electric that's doing a bang up job here. Thanks to Brad, to Cock. We got a new electrical panel. 
down from the old one that got ripped apart. I'm going to go down toward my office. You see the old storage room is ripped out as well. And uh, they're trying to restore some power in my office, which is kind of a mess right now. I'm going to scoot right through here. I'm going to go through the old storage room, go toward the back facility. That's the janitor's closet, and there's the elevator. Looking back toward uh, where the mailboxes used to be in the nursery. We're going to turn around. Uh, we got some good JWK workers here. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank you. All right. Here's a look back. We got the sand backfill in on the uh, outside. We're going to go down the stairway. And one thing you notice right away is that secondary door is now out. And going toward the fellowship room. So I'm going to go toward the entrance to the fellowship room something you will recognize but you take a look back and there's no ceiling and there's no doorway they even knocked out the uh, uh, a little wall going to an old storage closet I'm gonna walk through here see if I can get out sure enough I can so here's the flat work will come in for cement for the new entrance that's gonna be looking into the new north entrance right there and the uh, conduit for the electric is in and here's the new elevator shaft and I have no idea when the elevator will come up. That's going to be a couple months down the road. I want to show you one last thing. We'll just kind of make our work this way this way. And on the west side of church, they're doing a little digging for our water suppression system and they're going to put in a new new culvert here soon as well so that's happening on the west side so it doesn't matter wherever you may uh, approach church there's some changes that are happening again we're just so blessed by the Lord in order to see this happen we're uh, uh, we're on time and thankful for all your prayers and the safety of the workers we've been blessed and things are moving forward well once again just thank you for your prayers your support your ongoing tithing and uh, support of the capital improvement and uh, we'll see where the Lord takes us into beautiful ways of ministry on into the many years ahead. God bless. Hope you're healthy. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.